Hi guys, I'm my Pilates tribe members, and of course some of my other personal training clients. Here's a really great piece of equipment to use in your fitness warm up workout. Okay. A stick basically. And what I'm going to go through today is a series of drills I use with the stick to warm up before I do anything too spectacular in the gym. What should I do? First exercise is just general rotational type movement. Then reverse for a few. Now, if you look to the side here, I just want you to observe how I keep a neutral on the spine and my head top. And also, I keep the stick relatively close to the body until I become more mobile, obviously. Six to ten repetitions in each direction should begin to seal the deal. Once that's nicely warmed up, then you can start to work into the pectoralis muscle chest, into shoulders a little bit further. So I'll start off with this drill here, watch what I do. Roughly wider shoulder width the part to begin with. You need to go wider, go wider, but normally that's about right for most people. In you'll come up, X will come back down, keeping that hip top and working into the shoulders. Now I'll show you that from behind so you get an idea of the spacing of my arms. And you'll notice I push the stick as tall as I can before I come back down. Now over time, as you get warmed up, you may want to introduce a little bit of a static isometric stretch, just to increase your range of movement in that joint a little bit further. Caution with this, obviously, because the shoulder is quite a stable joint. But watch what I do with the command. I can move it. Now I'm just going to show you this position from behind initially. All I'm going to do now is try and physically pull the stick apart. Now in doing so, I'm pulling that stick apart, I start to work in the shoulder cap capsule and also the front edge here. Obviously, not to pay. A little bit of mild discomfort is fine. And then obviously we can come back onto exercise, perhaps bring my hands a little bit closer together. And now find I'm uh, able to move much more freely. For overhead work, overhead squatting work, etc., is an excellent exercise to give you the range of movement. Okay, so you can help hold the bar overhead. Now, obviously, you're going to make sure that when you do these exercises, you may want to be relatively warmed up beforehand, either on exercise by a treadmill or the second, or even the principal, just to get the blood flowing. Now we can take this a stage further, we can encourage opening up the front of the chest and a little bit of thoracic uh, spine mobility as well. Here's my stick, top arm there, see how to secure that, bottom arm assisting, eyes falling, my thumb, take an inhale, exhale, rotate. Opening up, just applying a little reach in the top arm, applying a little bit of pressure with the bottom arm. And then the other side, notice the angles. Notice how it's palms forward and palms down this one. Okay, so starting to open things up a little bit further. Now there's other drills you can do for shoulder mobility, but one of the things, or one of the tests that you use to ascertain just how mobile you are on the shoulders is this drill here. It's what's called a, a shoulder screen. You can see that I'm not the most, world's most mobile, but I'm obviously working on it. One thing you can do is assist this process by doing some static stretching using a stick. So watch what I do. I, th I think you probably noticed I actually walk my hands down the stick a little bit. And what I'm going to do next is try and pull the stick apart just to create a little bit of a stretch within the shoulder joint. And particularly, there's going to be the bottom shoulder in this case, but you're also going to be working the top shoulder as well. I'm not leaning forward, my head is tall and the neutral on the spine. Gently she goes, she pulls the stick apart. 
I'm there from the rear. Exactly the same thing again. Okay, now obviously, I would want to reverse that process so that we have this top, this, the hand, the other hand on top, then on the bottom, and the same thing again. Pull this thing apart. So I'm now going to work on the shoulders a bit more. Walking up, walking up, walking up, walking up. And there you go. Now if you switched on, you can get a partner to actually mark on a stick the ranges of movement you're able to achieve with one side of the body as you compare to the other. And over time, you can compare and contrast your progress as you go. Another useful little uh, stretch for the posterior capsule of the shoulder and to open up between the shoulder blades is this one here. Instead of having the hands, as you see, knuckles facing forward, we have one hand up, one hand down. Flip the stick across. Doesn't confuse a lot of people, I'm sure. Keep it high, and I'm going to try and compress the stick now. Shorten the stick, pull it together to open up the posterior capsule of the shoulder. I'll show you from behind. Okay, flip back across. This time, take your time with this. Top hand becomes bottom hand, bottom hand becomes top. Have fun with this because it'll take you a few attempts to get this right. There you go. Opposite side. Compression mistake again. Opening up the shoulders. And just to test things at the end of that sequence, you may want to go back to your original exercise. See how loose that now feels. Same with here. So we're going to your overhead one. You're able to position the stick, or indeed the weight again into the gym, in a more appropriate position. There you go. Fun with the stick. Go away, buy one, try these exercises out, and most importantly, enjoy them.